Good Monday evening, Southeast Texas. Looks like two rounds of locally heavy rainfall possible in Southeast Texas due to a pair of tropical waves. Uh, tomorrow morning could see some locally heavy stuff along the coastline. Port Arthur maybe into the triangle as we'll get nocturnal shower and thunderstorm activity to develop along the coastline. And as you can see, every day is going to have rainfall. We're going with about a 70% coverage, mainly for the triangle in the morning, then down to a 50% coverage. Notice how the rain chances go down after high temperatures go back up. And then here comes a second round of locally heavy rainfall due to a second tropical wave. Currently over Cuba, we'll move into the northwest Gulf of Mexico, and that will enhance rainfall. Then it's back down to scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head on into Sunday and Monday of next week. And then there go the afternoon high temperatures back into the 90s. So getting a break on temperatures, but uh, hopefully not too much of a good thing. Quite a surge of Gulf moisture, tropical moisture associated with that tropical wave. So you look at the yellows and the oranges and the reds, that's telling us there's lots of moisture in the atmosphere. So what that means is that the rain chances are usually higher. It also means that the showers and storms that do form uh, could put down locally heavy rainfall. That's why there is a very small, slight risk of flash flooding tonight uh, through 7 a.m. in the morning for uh, the Triangle mainly. Weak area of low pressure has formed in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see somewhat of a circulation here, but it's expected to move ashore coming up later on tonight or Tuesday. So Hurricane Center only giving us a 20% shot, maybe lower than that, as this heads on off uh, towards the mid-Texas Gulf Coast uh, to our southwest. Uh, we're going to be on the wet side coming up tomorrow. See all the clouds over towards Louisiana. That's going to be over our area tomorrow. So that will enhance rainfall in southeast Texas. A second tropical wave, which is currently over Cuba, Air Force reconnaissance expected to go out coming up tomorrow to investigate this. It should be in the central Gulf of Mexico by, say, uh, Wednesday. Right now, only a 20% shot, but uh, I think that there could be some weak development, maybe another low forming in the Gulf of Mexico, regardless of any significant development, which I don't think is going to happen. This is going to bring us some more locally heavy rainfall possibilities as we head on into, say, uh, uh, Friday uh, across southeast Texas. A third wave, they're just stacked up out there is out in the uh, far eastern Atlantic. This is going to run into a less favorable environment, so I'm not really concerned about that one. It's the second one that we'll have to watch uh, coming up as we head towards uh, later this week. So tonight, uh, things winding down this evening. I'll give it a 20% coverage this evening. And then after about 3 o'clock in the morning, as this normally happens, after about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see nocturnal development along the coastline. That'll spread inland into southeast Texas, southwest Louisiana. Some locally heavy rainfall is possible, as I showed you. And then as we wear on into the early and mid-afternoon hours, we'll see it kind of fade away. But still, a scattering is possible tomorrow afternoon as high temperatures rebound into the mid, possibly upper 80s across southeast Texas. You're looking at the moisture levels in the mid-atmosphere, quite a bit, at, a bit of it over southeast Texas now, hence the uh, locally heavy rainfall possibilities coming up tomorrow morning. And there comes that second surge as we wear on into Friday and into Saturday. So it looks like two rounds of locally heavy rainfall possible. It goes that first tropical wave. Here comes the second tropical wave, and we may get a weak area of low pressure to develop uh, towards our southwest. But right now, uh, none of the models are really keen on this uh, really significantly developing as uh, we head on into, say, Friday and into Saturday. On the Gulf of Mexico, looking at slightly choppy seas around 1 to 3 feet in your coastal marine forecast, we'll see a southeast wind at 10 to 15 knots. Water temperature down to 86. So a 20% coverage this evening. That goes up to a 60, maybe 70% coverage for the Triangle by morning. After about 3 o'clock, things should be coming more active on radar. Low temperatures mid to upper 70s. So for tomorrow, that 70% coverage, mainly for the Triangle, it'll be in the morning. And then as we wear on into the middle afternoon hours, the rain chances go down to a 30% coverage. Otherwise, cloudy to mostly cloudy skies expected tomorrow. Highs mid to upper 80s. Wednesday and Thursday, rain chances go down. Afternoon high temperatures go up. We're at a 30% coverage Thursday. Then that second wave moves on into the northwest Gulf of Mexico Friday and Saturday. That means more potential for locally heavy rainfall uh, with, uh, well, a couple inches possible with that. Then as the wave moves on inland and away, we'll go back to a scattering 
of afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms Sunday and Monday and afternoon high temperatures go back up into the lower 90s by next Monday. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.